Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Carrie. This channel is all about Hawaii food and family. And today we're going to be checking out the Waikiki Aquarium. I haven't been there in probably 20, 25 years and Ellie's never been. So it's definitely been a while, but we wanted to see how it is. And if you're coming to Oahu and you want to see if it's worth it or you live here and you want to see if it's worth bringing your kids to, keep watching because I'm going to check it out and I will let you know. Are you excited to go to the aquarium? I think that's a yes. I think she's excited. All right, let's go. Come along with us as we visit the Waikiki Aquarium and enjoy our drive on Kapuhulu Avenue. The aquarium is conveniently located next to Kapiolani Park and walking distance to Waikiki Beach. The Waikiki Aquarium opened in 1904, making it the second oldest public aquarium in the United States. I can't believe it's been around for almost 120 years. Wow, that is a long time. Admission is $12 for adults and $5 for kids ages 4 to 12. They also have special prices for Kama'aina, military, and senior members. Once you first walk into the aquarium, they will take your group picture and have it available for you for purchase at the end of your trip to the aquarium. As I said in the beginning of this video, I haven't been to the aquarium in many, many years. So this was a pretty new experience for me. Some of the highlights of visiting the aquarium are seeing the South Pacific Marine Community Fish, which include a fish on TikTok. That black is, fish is Emo Nemo. Oh. He's on TikTok. Emo Nemo. Emo Nemo. And all the fish from Finding Nemo. Do you see the fish? Do you see? Yeah. What color are they? Yeah. We also really enjoyed seeing the jellyfish. and visiting the shark tank. Which had this really, really cool, really big fish on the bottom of the shark tank as well. I don't remember what the name of that fish was. And seeing the seahorse dragons, or the sea dragons, I believe is what they're called. Ellie really enjoyed seeing all the different colors of fish and all their movements in the water. Next, we headed outside to see what more they had to offer. Monk seals are not in. They're not in? Where'd they go? They're are they off today? They're temporarily off exhibit. They're off today. It's a holiday. More fish. Nice. It's a nice outdoor pond. So far, um, for the aquarium, there was like this nice indoor section where you saw probably, I don't know, 100 variations of fish and really cool looking sharks. We had, there was like a big fish that we saw, stingray, sea dragon, 
Uh, Ellie really liked it. She was really stimulated with looking at all the fish. It took us about 20 minutes to walk through that area and now we're at this outside area. Monk seals are not here today. Um, so we'll see so day off. if there's anything else to see. I think you can also have like, um, you can have events here, you can rent out this space. I know at one time when Vida and I were gonna get married, we were looking at uh, having like a nice outdoor wedding and we thought of the aquarium as one of the options, but. Yeah. The natatorium is like right next door and it is Hawaii's probably oldest swimming pool. It's a saltwater swimming pool that's no longer in use. And um, the city, I think, and the state have to refurbish it but it's very historic right here on the famous Waikiki Beach by Queensbrake and um, never been inside the natatorium but we flew a drone over it once so let's go check out the gift shop because I think that's all that's left there was one more exhibit for us to see called the striped mullet which was pretty cool to see all of those fish in the tank but other than that that was it so we went to the gift shop. Love, love. <laughs> Maybe bubbles. She guys tell you something. So we just finished the Waikiki Aquarium. And what are your impressions? Um, come if you're come Aina because it's cheap. Eight dollars per person. But it takes you all of like 40 minutes to walk through it. Maybe longer if the monk seals were not on vacation today. Yeah, it really is a short trip. Um, and I mean the fish that you see in the Waikiki Aquarium are, are pretty cool. Like it's, and they take good care of all of the tanks and everything, which is really nice. Um, and Ellie really likes looking at all the fish, but after the inside portion, there's really nothing else to see. So it's a very short time at the Waikiki Aquarium. Overall, I would suggest if you are from Hawaii to come support the aquarium, you know, it is a great place to come bring young kids. Um, but if, you know, I wouldn't plan to make a day out of this place. However, the good thing is you are in Waikiki, so there's a lot more things to do before or after you come to the aquarium, which is probably what we're gonna do now because it's still pretty early. So what are we gonna do next? I don't know. Keep watching to see where we go next. After the aquarium, we decided to eat lunch at Sticks Asia, which is a Japanese food court located in the Waikiki Shopping Plaza. This area used to be called the Yokocho, but was renamed after the pandemic. It reminds me so much of being in a Japanese train station with all these little noodle, curry, and tempura shops. If I ever miss Japan, I will make sure to come back here again. We decided to eat at Udon Yama, which is a very delicious noodle shop. And one of the reasons why we picked this, honestly, is because right now Ellie is in a phase of liking noodles. And so I thought that she could have some of my noodles if we ate here. We got the kitchenet udon. Basically, it's udon with the tofu. And a side of tempura, eggplant, mm -hmm. and some 
some sweet potato and some ebi. <laughs> Ellie's enjoying her, her lunch as well. <laughs> she loves the noodles. So I got um, the curry udon with some sweet beef on it and a poached egg. So it's got curry all uh, underneath all this, all over the noodles. Also got a coke and a sweet potato tempura. Can you take a bite? <laughs> Very good. So we just ate lunch at um, under Sticks Asia. Sticks Asia located in the Waikiki Plaza. Waikiki Shopping Plaza. Waikiki Shopping Plaza. It was very good. It reminded me of Madukame Udon. It was very simple. You just choose your udon and then you can choose tempura to go with it. What did you think? Just to be clear, we ate at Sticks Asia, which is the food hall. Sorry. The restaurant that we ate at, we don't know. Well, the name well I'll put it in the video. <laughs> What did you think of it? Oh, it was good. Um, I mean, Waikiki, so it's a little expensive. And they get you because the udon is cheap, but then you end up buying all the little sides the for tempura. 2 or $3. Next yeah. thing you know, it's a $20 meal. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Castle Street. We wanted to end our meal on a sweet note, so we decided to head to Shimazu Shave Ice for a refreshing treat. And we love coming to Shimazu's. We're more familiar with the one on School Street, but this one is also very good too. And it's right next to Rainbows. Yours. It's a favorite. Good root beer with ice cream on the bottom. Good old root beer. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong. <laughs> I got my go to's leaky moi, lychee, and strawberry cream. So we just finished eating Shimazu shave ice and it was super refreshing and delicious. I didn't realize it, but they have two locations. So the one that we usually go to is more on School Street and it's more by like downtown Honolulu. This one was in on Kapahulu and um, yeah, it's very good. Uh, I would just recommend getting a kid size because the shave ice in general is super, super huge. Um, but my go-to flavors, strawberry cream, lihimoy, and lychee, those are my favorite. And Ellie just had some plain ice, which she loved for a little bit. I think it was getting too cold for her, so, so she stopped eating it. And Reed's go-to is root beer. So now we're heading west and we're going to see if we can take Ellie to Ko'olina, which is a nice lagoon beach on the west side, kind of or right by Aulani, the Disney hotel. So we're gonna do that. Keep watching. So instead of going to Colina because there was no parking, we ended up at the Croc Center and Ellie loves this place. It's perfect for her because there's like a section for babies and infants and it's just great. So this is where we're gonna call it a day. The Croc Center is located in Eva Beach and it is the perfect playground for Ellie right now. This infant baby area is so cool and just the perfect size for her. 
and it also has a water slide it's kind of like a mini water park here so we just love coming to the croc center and ellie just loves the water as you can tell and i really want to expose her to outdoor activities and water activities and so yeah we want to bring her around all of this as much as we can Alright, so we're going to end this video here. It was a long and fun day in Hawaii. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!